Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a printmaking work of art. At your team, I want you to list as many shapes as possible. What are some shapes that you listed? What are some of your favorites? Circles? Triangles? Chances are a lot of the shapes that you named are geometric shapes. And that's what we're going to be doing on the first part of our project. On the back of your paper, write your name in the middle and then flip it over. Now using a variety of colors, push down with your marker on the side really hard and go smoothly in rows. You are going to fill up your paper using geometric shapes, mostly triangles, squares, and rectangles. Just basically fill up the page. If you want to use cool colors or warm colors, that's totally fine. The only thing I don't recommend you using is black since we're going to be using black ink later on to put a design on top. Using a ruler, you will divide your foam piece carefully with a dull pencil into random sections. This does not have to match the design on your geometric shape marker page that you made. You can see here I'm going over the lines multiple times. I'm pushing pretty hard with my dull pencil, still while being gentle. If you push too hard, you'll poke through the foam and break it. If you don't push hard enough, your design won't show up. Try to challenge yourself and try to fill every space with a different type of line, shape, pattern, or design. Just make sure you keep going over the lines multiple times. This is what it should look like when you're done. It's filled. Because of all the pressure I put on it, it might be fragile, so don't bend it or fold it. Be very gentle during this process. Make sure you have your marker drawing next to you. You are going to need to push the paper towel dispenser five times and fold it in half to make a placemat for printmaking because now we're ready to print. You're going to take your foam piece and put it right on top of the paper towel making sure all edges are touching the edge of the paper towel. Then you're going to get a big black line of ink on your plate and roll the brayer quickly while rotating the plate. It's going to make that sticky sound that you might remember from last year. I'm just keep loading it just to make sure that it makes that sound. Then you're going to apply the brayer onto all of the edges and corners and every single space on your foam piece. I like to pull away from myself. If you notice, I'm trying not to get the foam piece to stick to me. I also might get my fingers a little messy here and that's okay. Just be careful that you don't get ink on your clothes. Put the brayer onto the plate with the handle sticking out so it doesn't get messy for the next person to use. Then you're going to take your colored piece of paper, flip it over with your name facing up, and gently tap it starting from the top of your paper to the bottom. I'm just giving it a couple taps to let it stick. Take your second brayer, the clean one, and start pushing really hard to roll it on the back. If you get a little bit of ink on your brayer, that's okay. That's very normal. The back of your paper, no one's gonna see. Then you're gonna peel this off gently and you will reveal your design that you created. If you pushed hard enough, your design will show up really well. Now it's time to clean your foam piece. You're going to take it to the sink and rinse it off with your thumbs. Make sure you fold up your old paper towel very gently because again, you don't want ink to go anywhere. Throw it away and rinse off your foam piece. You do not need to use soap. Then you're going to take a paper towel and dry it off. I fold it up gently because again, my foam piece is very fragile and I'm gonna rub the paper towel on the outside of the foam piece gently 
and then just make sure that I clean up the rest of it. You may throw away your paper towel when you're done and make sure that you place both pieces in a safe area to dry. There is your foam piece printmaking process.